One of the atomic reactors at the Chernobyl atomic power plant in the city of Kiev. Nuclear disasters like these have caused immense destruction with long-lasting effects. Radiation exposure is lethal to those who are exposed to them in the long run. It causes DNA to mutate in plants, animals and humans, affecting generations. It's also dangerous as it stays around the environment, getting fixed in the water and the soil, and sometimes even in the form of clouds. With this kind of toxic poisoning, large areas around nuclear disasters have become too dangerous to live even decades later. But what if I were to tell you that these horrific problems could be taken care of by these happy little things? Yeah, sunflowers are basically a natural solution to cleaning up toxic waste. Some varieties of sunflowers are able to thrive in soil that has been polluted by radioactive material and their ability to multiply quickly makes them an ideal candidate for this mega cleanup job. The sunflower fix works through a process called phytoremediation. Sunflowers growing in the area absorb nutrients from the soil through their complex root system. Radioactive isotopes in the soil and the water are also absorbed in the same process. How? They mimic other soil minerals like potassium and calcium, which are absorbed by the sunflowers on a daily basis. Since these flowers are hyperaccumulators, they're able to absorb these toxic substances from the soil at a much higher rate than other plants, and they store them in their plant tissue. Once they're pulled out of the soil, the plant and all the toxic substances that they've absorbed can be easily harvested and safely disposed of. They can also be used to remove heavy metal toxins from the area like zinc or cadmium or lead. Planting these bright sunflowers all over is a cost-effective way of dealing with areas that have been hit by nuclear disaster. After the disaster in Chernobyl, around 50 tons of toxic material was released into the atmosphere. The soil and water bodies also became riddled with toxins and hence couldn't be used. Beds of sunflowers were placed on rafts and floated into the infected areas with their roots touching the water. The sunflowers were able to absorb the radioactive cesium-137 and strontium-90. According to sources, this way of cleaning up radioactive areas costs anywhere between two to six dollars for every thousand gallons of water. In Fukushima, after an earthquake and tsunami caused the nuclear plant to fail with disastrous consequences. Nothing could be grown in a 96 kilometer range because it was polluted by radioactive substances. The community came together and in a bid to rebuild their lives, planted 8 million sunflowers. It's estimated by some that it'll take probably another 40 years to clean up the entire area, but these bright and beautiful sunflowers have become a symbol of hope for the people. So, while man-made advancements have built the world that we know, when things go wrong, nature's ability to restore balance comes to the fore in the form of these bright yellow blossoms. Hey guys, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. The kinds of videos we want to make are to ask fun and compelling questions, explore weird and intriguing stories and delve into secret histories. So if that's something you're interested in, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to tell us what you like in the comments.